Now, morning everybody. Yes, welcome to my channel. Now, the title of this show, or this video is, I'm gonna stop doing this. And it's straight away, it's nothing to do with kind of stopping the garden. It is the some process that I do while I make these videos that wrangles me quite a bit. And it, the more I do it, it, and it's laziness, to be honest. And I want you today, well, today I'm gonna try and stop that from now on, moving forward. I'm in the process of getting a new camera and I won't be able to do this thing, this nasty habit, or it'll look really nasty when I get this new camera. But, can you see is there? If you can spot what I'm doing, what I'm not doing, drop us an email, sofanotes at gmail.com and you could win a potty mouth garden junior level one certificate. Yes. So, we're in the garden today and I've got, I didn't get that bed, you know, that bed's come about. I didn't get that fixed. I bought me drill up for that. But I want to get in the polytunnel and I want to kind of strip back loads of leaves because I can't see at the moment or it feels to me like I'm watering, I'm feeding just lots of green leaves. So come, I'll show you what I mean. So nearly all, well, kind of all my plants have had the very bottom leaves taken off but I still need to kind of now go right you know pretty high up at least halfway and get all these leaves off just so I can see the tomatoes and I'm feeding the tomatoes not the bloody leaves because I've got lovely green leaves but I'm not, I don't know what my tomatoes are like so this is actually me feeding I'm going heavy into feeding this year just have a little trial run this is my organic one I'll actually patch potatoes sent over and I really like this as well but I'm feeding them the tomatoes with this feed and now like I say I want to start feeding the tomatoes not the actual green leaves so there's a little tip you can do when you're taking these leaves off because I don't I don't cut or okay. well sometimes I do and I end up cutting <laughs> <laughs> bloody plant in there, right down the but I've realized if you lift up with a leaf it just snaps off straight away so the leaf is on there I've just been stung by it bloody nelly a little bastard what a oh man them little ones if you just pull it up like that way from the plant I'll show you in a second they just pop off so let's get a couple of these off see where we are so here's the brads and you can actually see now I can get and actually I noticed down here there's a couple that are right for picking so that's quite nice so that's what I intend to do take them probably about halfway up take all the leaves off and then I can just see what's going on concentrate on the fruit feed so I'll crack on with this side It's kind of overcasting a little bit, but oh, she's warm in here now, especially when they're doing all this. I was, you know, the intention was to kind of crack on and get uh, done one side. I'll give you a look. Better than what I thought, to be honest, way better. And it's amazing. You know, I was saying like you just clip up them leaves and they snap off. Well, I got to the second batch with, sorry, the, the, the black strawberry. Lot. I couldn't, they were just too tough. So I had to get a knife to kind of cut them. But yeah, I'm, I'll show you, I'm quite pleased. I'll tell you, can you see? I don't know if you can see, but I'm getting a really good crop off these. I think these are Marmand. I think they are, this first time I've grown them. But this one, it's got a great crop on, but I let it split. If you remember, we talked about it a couple, of, well, a couple of months ago, probably. It split straight away. So I let it go as an experiment. Now with the plant itself hasn't getting very high, but there's an abundance of fruit on there. Can you just, can you see all the fruit? So if I can bring them home, that'll be really good. So listen, do think about subscribing. 
<laughs> I know I'm going on about that. Do think about subscribing, it's fab. Honestly, just get notified when I kind of put out a video. Don't re remember Potty Mouth moving to its own channel. There'll be a link there to subscribe to that. And finally, before I crack on, have you spotted what I'm doing different? If you have, start, not Starship Sober, sofanauts at gmail.com. Send us an email and I'll send you, if you get it right, a PDF. You will have been awarded the Potty Mouth Garden Club Junior Level 1 Certificate. Got some nice coverage there on the Brad's Atomic and I think I've got a couple of them to turn you around there. I've got a couple of them ready to rock and roll as well. So, yep, yeah, turn you up there. All looking quite good, you know what I mean? Like I say, there's some, some ready to pick there now. So, it seems a bit of a strange season. Like taking a while, but I think they're starting to come there now, so I'm happy. <laughs> Man, get some fresh air. I'll fix that bed. Then I think I'm kind of done. Well, did I? Sh I did show you. People who haven't seen, look at. I'll show you. So my screws were at the at the time. That's still a good bit of wood. They were they were long enough at the time, but they've just over time kind of come out. So I'm going to put some longer screws in. But I'm going to take these out. Before I start, did you know, remember last video I put this alfalfa down and I was just joking saying we need some good rain and I'll not bother. Well, it has rained and as soon as it gets wet, it just breaks, it just breaks down. So I didn't have to water, but yeah, good stuff. Hopefully there's a few folks use it like. So I'm hoping these screws, which are probably a third again longer fly in with the pre-hole drills screw holes but to be honest they ain't cheap do you know what I mean and the kind of I'm using six it's well the six holes I'll see how they go in like butter <laughs> I just put I'm gonna just put four I'm bloody I'm really quite surprised this wood, I mean, it was treated anyways, but I think this bed's been here, is it four or five years since I kind of converted the thing? And this was the first one, and that wood's still solid. So I'm quite, I thought it might have been new like that, all like flaky, rotten, but no, it seems all right. It's probably worth investing some more screws when they all start coming out. Just put that back. Now I cheated, went to the garden centre as well. Look at, can you, I don't, can you see them in the shot? These are, what did I get again? Oh, Radicchio. And I think I've got some in there, but I just couldn't help, went for some plants for a friend for a birthday. And there was Radicchio and I think some poorly looking lettuce. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get some of that. I like it, it's got this bite and I fancy this time like cutting it in half, it grows like it, I guess like a, like a cabbagey sat lettuce, no, cut it in half and fry it. That's what I'm intending to do. All right. Oh, throw the screws away like bloody no business. There we go then. I actually need to get my stuff. I go, how, how many miles to a garden centre and I've got it in a greenhouse. Well, that stuff's going. Like a white foam, I don't think you can see that. But anyways, get these done, washed, watered. I'll feed me tomatoes and that's it. I'll see you Monday, tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Well, on a Monday, I will see you at the Potty Mouth Garden Club. Look after yourselves, take good care.